All right, welcome back. Part two of using vCarve for the first time, and we're making a push stick. So next off, we are going to create a couple arcs. So I'm going to take an arc, the arc tool right here, and I'm going to grab from this cross section of three and three and a half, go down to this one, okay, which is 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and I'm just going to draw back this way a bit. So it doesn't really matter how much. Let's just go with about there for now, okay? Uh, then I'm going to draw a second arc, and that arc is going to again start from here. And it's going to go to this one, okay? And I'm just going to kind of do a slight, I'm going to scroll in here right away as I'm working. And I'm just going to make a little bit of an arc like that. That's all we need, okay? Now I'm going to join a couple lines. So I'm going to close this off and I'm going to use the line tool. I'm going to join this line here over to there, okay? So there's now a line there. I'll click somewhere else so you can see it. And I forgot one more arc. So I'm going to go back to arc and I'm going to go from right here to right here. I'm just going to make a slight bit of an arc. doesn't matter how much you do on there, but don't, don't do much more than that much of an arc. So again, I'm going to zoom in a bit. Let's put a slight arc there. Okay. Whoops, and I goofed that one. So I hit Escape. I click on the object. I hit Delete to delete it. And I should have done that arc one lower. So from here to there, that's where I should have went. There we go. It's looking kind of funny. Okay, so again, I'm going to zoom in and just do a slight arc. Okay. Go back to the line tool to finish this off. Put a line from right, that cross there to there. Okay. And if you see it, right, so I can zoom in. Yep, we're there. Okay. So there's a basic object. And the last thing is we got to do a little notch out of here um, so that you can actually push wood through a machine. So I'm going to zoom in a tiny bit. I'm going to go back to line. I'm going to go to this cross section right here. And I'm just going to kind of work up here. You know, it's on a 45. Let's just cross over that line for right now. Okay. And we're there. And one more line. All right. We're just going to go a 45. And it doesn't matter. Maybe halfway in between here. But, oh, look. It, it finds a midpoint. Okay. And we're just going to go straight through here. On a 45, you can see on the screen it says 45. The, the angle, A for angle. Okay. So I'm just going to go past there. And hit escape. Or, sorry, hit the right button. All right. View. Grid lines. Get rid of them so we can see now kind of looks like a shape but we got to get rid of some stuff now so what we're going to do is go over to the active trim okay or act okay and we click on it and now we're going to get rid of some stuff so for example uh, you know i don't need that little piece there i don't need this block here i don't need this part in here and as i click you can see the scissors open up right and they get rid of what i don't want i don't want this bit I don't want that bit, and I don't want that bit. Now when I scroll out, man, it's starting to look like a push stick. The only thing is it's got points on it and things like that. So we're going to close off. From closing off, we're now going to go to um, the fillet tool. And on the fillet, we're going to, first off, okay, it's set for 0.25. Let's see what happens if I pick this one. Okay, oh, no, nothing's picking yet. I wonder why nothing's picking. So we hit close. Let's see. If I click on the object, oh, that's an individual object. That's an individual one. That's an individual one. Ooh. So what I got to do is I'm actually going to click a couple of these, hold the shift key, click on one, hold the shift key down. Okay. And I'm going to right mouse click and I'm going to go to join and join with a line. Okay. So now when I click on this, that's a whole one. When I click here, you can see it goes all the way around. So I'm going to click that one and that one, right mouse click, and I'm going to go join with a line. And finally, I'm going to click on this one. Oops, let me click. There we go. Right mouse click and join with a line. Right, so now when I click on this whole object, everything is actually there. I'm actually going to stop there and then we'll finish off in the next tutorial.